Hello everyone, this is Man Haddad here again. In lab number 16, I'm going to show you how you can create from user manager many users by doing only one click. So for example, if you are working in a restaurant or in a hotel and you have many visitors, and in this case, you don't need for every visitor that want to get access to the internet to create for him a username and a password. So what you can do, you can create many users and you can print out the vouchers. Then when you have a guest coming to you, you can just give him the voucher and then he's able to be connected to the internet. So in this lab, I'm going to show you this, but also I'm going to show you how you can also change the voucher template because the user managers give us some looking for the voucher, which is very normal. So what we need to do, we have to adjust that and we have to make the voucher to look better. OK, so this is what we are going to do in this lab. Point number one, create a limitation for one megabit download and 512 upload for one week. So now I'm going to create the profile and then I'm going to create on this profile many users and then I'm going to print the vouchers and we will see how it looks on the voucher when we don't do anything on the looking for the voucher so we see how it looks from the user manager and then I'm going to adjust that looking of the voucher and I'm going to use another template in order to have a better looking for the vouchers okay so let's first create one megabit download and 512 upload for one week as a limitation so we go here to the user manager 10.0.0.153 slash user man and then I will log in admin 1234.56 and then we have to go to profiles and at this moment we still have this 30s profile that we have created before so I will go to limitation and from here I will add a new limitation and I will name it for example normal and then and the, they ask us to have the bandwidth that's the rate limit and uh, the rx is upload so it's 512 on upload and tx is one megabit on download and they said that we wanted to have the uptime for one week so it's going to be working this voucher for one week whenever the customer get connected to the internet okay and i will say add so this is done from my side so again we go inside of it we see that the rate limit is correct and the uptime is correct and we name it normal and then we have to create a profile and here we make plus and we create a profile here we name it uh, for example silver and then i create this profile and uh, this profile i will uh, connect it so i will say add new limitation it's going to be for whole week and i will connect it to the normal and i will say add what you can also do here if you want you can put the price for example so 10 on the user manager you can't have the currency so you only have to put the price okay and here the validity you can also show how this is valid for how long so you can put here you want it to be valid for one week two weeks three weeks so i will not do anything here and then that's it so i have created the profile as they have requested so i will save it point number one is done we have created the limitation and we have created the profile also we call it server as they ask here and uh, it is done now point number three create 10 users with a server profile using the batch and uh, they should all start with a server as username so now we have the silver profile which is 512 on upload one megabit on download and it is for one week okay now we need to create the users and we said we want to make 10 users and uh, these users will have the server profile starting as username silver and something okay so i don't want to create for every user a username and password so i'm going to do it automatically so how to do that we have to do for 10 users so we go here to the users and before when we created the user for we made add and we made one now i'm gonna do add and i say batch okay so here you can state how many number of users you want so they said 10 users so i make 10 you can make even more than that to have already your vouchers ready whenever someone wants to get access to the internet and they said that they want the profile to have a username starting by silver so i will write here the prefix should be silver and then something else so the username length should be six and then the password should be six you can also move it up or down so you can make it more than six as a lunch for username and more than six for the password but at this moment i will keep everything the same and i will assign it to the profile which is silver okay so now with this i will when i say now add then the user manager will create for me 10 users so let's do that i'll say add and directly you can see over here so now i close it so the 
user manager has created for me these 10 users and uh, you, they start all by silver. Pot number three is done. Now, we need to issue the voucher to be printed for the accounts that were created. So now we have those users that we have already created them. And now we have to issue the vouchers and we have to print them. So anyone would like to get access to the internet, we can give him this voucher. Okay, so how to do that? Now, after we have already created the users, we have to go to generate. And from here we have vouchers. Okay, so you click on voucher. Of course, first you need to select which user you need to get them inside the voucher. Okay, so we go to vouchers, generate and voucher. And then I will say here, you can break it after one or two. So I will not break, so it's based on the line. And then I will say generate. So then directly you can see that this is the voucher, okay? So you can print it and you can cut them in order to give the user the voucher whenever he wants to get connected to the internet. But as you can see that uh, the uh, looking for the voucher is not very good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the way it looks by changing the template because user manager give us a very simple uh, looking for the voucher. So point number four is done. Point number five, change the voucher template to look better. All right. So what we need to do now, we have to change the voucher to look better. And how to do that, if we go back to the user manager here and we go to settings, and we go to templates. So this is what you need to change. You have to go to the voucher here on the name. And normally what you need to change is only the header and the row. So as you can see, this is really an HTML. So if you are good in HTML, you can write your own HTML. You can put it there. If you are not good on HTML, then there are some websites where they can offer for you free templates for the voucher. So when I was preparing for this lab, I have just looked on the internet and I've seen good websites showing some uh, free templates for vouchers. Okay, and uh, I took the uh, coding from the, this uh, website and I, I have added them and I have adjusted them to have a better looking for the voucher. So if you want to see the website, you can just go to uh, uh, the internet and at this moment I'm not connected to the internet so let me log in to the internet I'll put the username Maher and the one two three four five six that's something we have created at the beginning and then from here you can write for example my critic user manager voucher template free and I've seen many websites but one of them is this one which I have seen it I just click on it and you can see here there are many templates that you can choose. So I've taken this one and you can see this is the header. Then you have to copy the header and paste it to the template. And this is the row. You have to copy it and paste it there and footer and break. Normally they are the same. Okay. But then of course this will show a very good looking for you, but it will also show you something like, uh, for example, when you scroll down here, you see like four megabit speed call something. So that's something that you still have to go to the HTML and you have to try to change it. And also here the price. So what I've done, I have taken those HTML codes and I have added them inside the HTML editor and I made some change on them in order to have it better. Okay. So at the end, what I've done, so this is, uh, I have put them on my desktop. So this is the voucher template. So this is the part for the header. So I will copy it. I will copy this one. And I will go to the user manager here and I will, I'm inside voucher. I will add it here. So inside the header, then the row, I will copy also the row. So this is the row. And I will add it to here and then footer and break will stay the same. And then I will say save. So the template has been saved now. Okay. So again, we go to the users. We see that these are the users that I have created them. You see that the actual profile is silver and I will select them all. Okay. And, and I will take out only the user for, and then now I will say generate and generate the voucher and let's generate. So this is how it looks now. The voucher is much better. As you can see, it's hotspot voucher. The package is silver, unlimited. It is for one week. And this is the username and the password. You can see them. 
And here, I, what I've done, I just changed. I put here Flash Internet and I put the email of mynetworktraining.com, which is info of mynetworktraining.com. So what you can do now, you can just print them, color, you can cut them, and then you have these vouchers. So you have now 10 vouchers. You can make more. You can make 100, 200 vouchers, and you can make them ready. So anyone who would come, you can just give him the voucher without any problem. Okay. Of course, you can also adjust what you want based on your company. So instead of putting email, you can put the phone number. You can put the speed here instead of fast internet. So you can do whatever you like. It's an HTML and you can edit it the way you like. But at this moment, this looks much better than what it was before. And I think that you agree with me. So point number five is done. So we have changed the voucher template. We copied and pasted it inside the voucher template and we've seen that after we print it in point number six, that it looks much better now. Okay. Now, if you want to reset the voucher to be back to as it was, all you need to do, so I close this one here, you go again to the user manager here, and then you have to go to settings and on templates here, you just click on reset. I'll not do that because I don't want to be looking the way it was, but you just click on reset and then you make save and it will look the same as it was at the beginning from the user manager. Okay. So with point number six, I have already done the whole lab and I have shown you in this lab how you can create many users without you creating them one by one using the batch. And then I have showed you how you can print the voucher and how it looks from the user manager, but also I've showed you how you can also change the looking of the voucher by importing some HTML into the template and then it will look much better for you than when it is provided from the user manager. So I hope that this lab was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lab.